I started having symptoms in November of 2002, uh, so I've had it 14 years. The 14 months after I noticed symptoms, I went to a ne neurologist and I got the official diagnosis of Parkinson's. We are uh, trying to do a research study of focused ultrasound ablation uh, to study if we can improve the symptoms of dyskinesia in patients with Parkinson's disease. Yeah, I've been, fo I've been following the progress of focused ultrasound for several years and it's not FDA approved yet, but it's still in experimental clinical stages. So um, I've just been waiting for the chance to, to try out, to try it. Focused ultrasound uh, therapy is a non-invasive way where you could target uh, 1,024 beams of ultrasound into different parts of the brain to achieve uh, symptom control in patients. So with this new procedure, um, we call this transcranial focused ultrasound ablation. Uh, so in this procedure, patients are uh, coming in the morning of surgery, we do a head shave on them. Uh, once that is done, we put a head frame uh, which is uh, similar to a helmet, if you will, to hold the head steady for the surgical intervention. Once that is done, patients go to the MRI machine. Uh, we are under live MRI guidance. Uh, we are able to focus these 1,024 beams of ultrasound to the part of the brain where the abnormal signal is coming from. 600 and it should be 49. Okay. Here goes another treatment, Ron, okay? We do a triple monitoring of these patients uh, by checking the patients clinically. Patients are awake for the surgery. Uh, and every time we deliver the treatment, we go inside, check the patients to make sure they're having symptom relief and are not having any side effects. Uh, we are doing MRI to look at the temperatures in different parts of the brain to make sure that we are reaching the temperatures required for a good sonication. And then we are looking at the anatomy of their brain in real time to make sure we are creating ablation in the area we want to uh, and avoid areas that could give them side effects. Individually, these 1024 beams are, don't have enough energy to uh, create any disturbance to the brain where they pass through. So they're able to pass through the brain without creating any disturbance or any uh, problems with that part of the brain. But when they combine together at one focal point, the energy levels reach to a point that they're able to do the ablation or lesioning. Tell me, how do you feel in comparison to the right side, your left side uh, being well, in? Um, Two, two things I noticed right, right away. Okay. And she can verify this. Okay. My speech seems to be a lot better. Yes, we noticed that too. And the uh, second thing was when I, when I was in the dystonia so badly. Yes. Uh, normally it's right down the middle, but this time it was when I, when I was still in the treatment. Team, yes. It, it was just here. Just here, yeah. The left side dystonia. Yeah, you kept was, saying that. So left side, this used to be your site for, for dystonia on no, both sides. Dystonia was right down the middle for my abdomen. Okay, abdomen, okay. But, but uh, even during the treatments mm -hmm. in the tube, the dystonia from this side was gone. Okay. So far, uh, this uh, technique has been successfully applied for essential tremor, and the results from Parkinson's disease are very encouraging as well. In future, we are looking at applying this technology for the treatment of patients with epilepsy, patients with psychiatric disorders like obsessive compulsive disorder, patients with brain tumors, and patients with neuropathic pain. I want you to bring your arms up like you're holding a big pizza pie. Both uh, it's a long road and there's a lot of work that needs to be done uh, before we can start research studies in these different areas and look at the safety profile and look at the initial effectiveness before we can offer this uh, as a part of standard of care in future. Big movements, big movements. Okay, very good, okay.